Peggy 18 Hey Come and check this out What on earth is that? Not a clue Hi, I'm Pete Samuels. I'm the CEO of Supermassive Games and the director for the Dark Pictures Anthology. My intention for today is to give you some background to the story, the evolution of gameplay, and to help you build a picture of where Little Hope is both similar to and different from Man of Madame. But first, a, a short recap on what the anthology is and the team's intentions. The anthology is a series of intense, standalone cinematic horror games released on multiple formats each is a new and totally different story with new characters, new settings, and inspired by different subgenres of horror. How you play and the decisions you make will determine whether your protagonists live or die during the course of each game. And each is designed from the ground up for massive replayability with branching storylines, different endings, and multiple modes of play, including couch co-op and the critically acclaimed two-player online shared story mode. So let's talk about game two, Little Hope. Set for a summer 2020 release, the story takes place mainly in the present day in an abandoned New England town called Little Hope. A place with a dark history, a paranoia that pervaded a settlement at the center of the 17th century witch trials. As before, it's multi-platform, four to five hours single player with the alternative Curator's Cup playable story where you control different characters. And with couch co-op and two player online modes of play, both of which were received very enthusiastically first time out. The game centers around a whole new cast of playable characters, a small college class on a field trip in Massachusetts, Taylor, Andrew, Daniel, and a mature student, Angela, with their professor, John. Following a bus crash, they find themselves in the deserted town of Little Hope and are prevented from leaving by a dense and mysterious fog. But Little Hope isn't just deserted. As I've said, it's a New England town with a dark past and with plot lines influenced by the Andover and Salem witch trials and the recounting of these in Arthur Miller's The Crucible, our story forms around paranoia, brutal executions, and the pursuit of redemption. As they explore Little Hope looking for an escape, they try to understand the meaning of these events, the root of the evil, and how it is directly connected to them. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? The more obvious cinematic and literary influences for the game include The Witch, Season of the Witch, and Blair Witch, but people will recognize some other strong influences, such as Hellbound Heart, Hellraiser, and other similar works by Barker, and indeed Silent Hill, and two of my personal favorites, It Follows and The Omen. Interestingly, our studio is just a stone's throw from Guildford Cathedral, which features strongly in Richard Donner's 1976 classic. A basis in real or mythological events is a core component of each of the dark pictures, and as I touched on earlier, Little Hope's basis lies in the New England Witch Trials of 1692. Now, something I hadn't realised until researching the subject is that during that period, more people were accused and arrested for witchcraft in Andover than were in the neighbouring town of Salem. And it was through studying a map of Andover in 1692 that we came up with the name for our fictional town of Little Hope. But our quest for historical authenticity doesn't end there. Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? The first step in designing our 1692 characters was to enlist the services of a British TV and film costume designer who researched the period extensively to create sketches, source materials, and garment samples as reference for his designs, which our artists recreated in great detail for our authentic 17th century pilgrim characters. But other than the story, the characters, the tone, the influences, and the subgenre, how does Little Hope differ from Man of Madame? I have a bad feeling about this. Well, Little Hope retains the values of cinematic presentation that define our studio, and we've incorporated a, a wider range of camera systems, seamlessly transitioning to close, character-centric cameras where we feel that better suits the environment and the player experience with left stick camera control to help both PC and console gamers feel a closer attachment to their character, and with a greater range of walk speeds that fit the environment and the narrative. Building on feedback from a growing Dark Pictures community, their team have developed the controls and interface to provide clearer context 
improve the player's understanding of the world and events and increase the engagement in the story through improved pacing and fluidity. These include context for interacting with objects in the world, QTE alerts that inform players of the location of an upcoming QTE, and the action that the character will perform if successful. And there are periodic reminders of immediate character goals, and much more fluid camera and animation transitions throughout. One of the mysteries of Little Hope is finding out the connection between a present-day group of college students stranded in Little Hope, a group of settlers in the 17th century in Andover, and a family in 1970s New England. So, without giving too much away, I hope, that's the basis of the story and the nature of the threat. Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go?